the potential there is similar to Clayton Valley, but could be greater because of the size of the valley and the potential to have a much bigger reservoir in the areas. Welcome to the NEI 500 CEO interview program, where the senior management from select listed companies will share their insights with the audience about their company's growth potential. In this episode, we had the opportunity to speak to David Watkinson, the CEO of Ameriwest Livia, a CSE-listed company with a trading symbol of AWLI. Ameriwest is a lithium exploration company focused in Nevada and Arizona. A few highlights that readers should know before watching the interview. Increase in the adoption and production of battery-powered vehicles is driving the demand for lithium. Ameriwest lithium properties are located within areas of known lithium resources with the Deer Musk East project located within five miles of the only lithium producing mine in North America. Attractive share structure and well financed to achieve the initial exploration objectives with a continued focus on capital efficiency and risk mitigation. A team with substantial experience in finance and mining and with prior experience in developing mining projects from grassroots to divestor to major mining companies. The share price reached its 52-week high of over $1.50 recently in January 2022, now settling at a dollar range. If you enjoy our video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can stay alert of our future content. Hi, David, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, how are you doing? Great, keeping busy. So maybe you can start off by just uh, giving us a, a bit of an overview about Ameriwest uh, Livium uh, uh, today. Okay, well, Ameriwest trades on the Canadian Stock Exchange under the symbol AWLI. Our mission is to become a leader in exploration and development, world-class lithium and battery metal mining assets. Uh, we started uh, in the lithium space in March of 2021. So we uh, have essentially been at it for about a year. We're primarily focused on Nevada, which is a proven lithium jurisdiction and one of the best mining jurisdictions in North America to permit and develop mines. And so we've acquired uh, three lithium brine properties uh, in Nevada, Railroad Valley, Edwards Creek Valley, and our Deer Muskies property in Clayton Valley. And we also have one sedimentary clay deposit that's in Thompson Valley, Arizona. Great, so just uh, elaborate a bit on one of your key regions there being Railroad Valley in Nevada. I believe in your materials, you believe it can be uh, the next Clayton Valley. What do you think of that? Yeah, we're, we're excited about the property, uh, you know, the only operating uh, lithium mine in North America is Albemarle Silver Peak Mine in Clayton Valley. Uh, so Clayton Valley has a number of characteristics. It's got an arid climate with uh, evapotranspiration. It's a closed basin. So the water accumulates in the basin. And over the years, the uh, potential is the lithium brine uh, concentrates and the uh, uh, lithium content goes up. Uh, it's got uh, tectonically driven subsidence, which has created the, the valley there. It's got a number of aquifers. It's got lithium source rocks, geothermal activity, and it's got a lot of geological time where that allowed the brine to concentrate. So Railroad Valley is very similar to Clayton Valley, but it's got a larger playa area. It's about 350 square kilometers versus 100 square kilometers in Clayton Valley. The basement catching area is about uh, 10,700 square kilometers versus about 4,400 square kilometers in Clayton Valley. And the basin fill depth is much greater. So we've acquired a land package in Railroad Valley of about 15,300 acres. So we think the potential there is similar to Clayton Valley, but could be greater because of the size of the valley and the potential to have a much bigger reservoir there. So our approach has been to use geophysics uh, to try to identify the potential for brine targets there. And our goal is to drill at Railroad Valley uh, later this year. Okay, so let's talk a bit about uh, another region that you have lithium projects in Arizona too. So what, what's the potential there? 
Uh, in Arizona, it, we have a sedimentary deposit that's located there. So it's, uh, it's called Thompson Valley. So it's 120 miles north of Phoenix. So it's adjacent to what's called the Lyles Hectorite Mine, which is operated by Vanderbilt Minerals. So we've acquired exploration rights to about 2,900 acres there. And there's some historic work uh, that was done in the 1960s when they were looking for uh, lithium. Uh, and so there's some samples there that were up to 5,300 parts per million that were taken, uh, I believe, by the USGS uh, around that time. So, again, we're in the early stages of exploration. We're perfecting the land package, and now we started with geological mapping and sampling. And ultimately, our goal is to drill there and prove historic numbers uh, can be repeated. So can you tell us a bit more about your, your team there? Because we believe that's an important part of being an exploration company. Who has uh, the ex uh, technical expertise in working through your projects there in your team? Okay. So we, we have kind of three layers I'll talk about. We obviously have the management team. Uh, I'm the president and CEO and a director of the company. So I'm a professional engineer. I have a BSc in applied science from Queen's University and over... 35 years of international experience, uh, primarily in project management. Uh, so that involves taking projects from grassroots into operation. I've worked for large and small uh, companies, both in the public and private sector. So I, I have a very diverse background that includes roles in mine operations, engineering, contracting and construction, and, and also corporate management. Glenn Colick, who's our CEO, has about 35 years of experience in corporate business development, both in public and private uh, companies. Graham Wright, our CFO, has about 35 years of experience in financial management and accounting and a Bachelor of Commerce degree from the University of Toronto. A couple of our other directors, uh, Zig Hansik, uh, is an experienced senior executive with over 40 years of international experience. He has a PhD, MBA, and uh, BBM, is a certified management consultant. James Haley is a geologist with 25 years of experience in the mineral industry, including base metals, uh, gold, diamonds, and also uh, a lot of experience in the oil and gas industry. And then uh, Sam Eskandari is our other end director, and he has 10 years of experience, primarily in uh, capital raising and investor relations. Uh, so that uh, makes up sort of the, the management team. When we look at the technical side, uh, we have myself, uh, James Haley, uh, that are part of our also our management team. But we have Dennis Bryan, who's a registered professional geologist uh, with over 40 years of experience. Uh, he served uh, for 10 years as a senior vice president of development for Lithium Nevada Corporation which is a subsidiary of uh, Lithium America's corporation is advancing the Thacker Pass deposit. Uh, so he holds a BSc in uh, geological engineering and uh, MS in geology uh, uh, from the University of Reno. Uh, Robert Pease is uh, also a professional geologist that works with us. He's got 40 years of experience. He holds a BSc and MSc in geology. Uh, from the University of Reno, Nevada, and he's got extensive experience in uh, both load and placer deposits, base metals and gold and barite deposits, uh, industrial mineral deposits in Nevada and California. And he's a member of the American Institute of Professional Geologists. Uh, Greg Bell has 30 years of multidisciplinary engineering experience. Uh, so he's got MS uh, and BS in chemical engineering from the University of Colorado and Wyoming respectively. Uh, so he's a professional engineer in Arizona and Utah and has a certified groundwater professional recognized by the National Groundwater Association. One of our younger members of our team is James M. Grafia. So he's a founder of a company called Lithium Aero LLC. So he's a, got a consulting company uh, and he has an MS in uh, geology from the University of uh, uh, Nevada in Reno. And he's a uh, got experience with Lithium Americas, but also with the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology and the U.S. Geological Survey. So he had done his thesis on uh, lithium exploration, also has quite a bit of academic experience to round out our team. But if you look at the technical team itself, we have about 170 years of experience in our core team. 
We also uh, have a third layer where we work with outside consultants. Uh, so these would be experts in things like uh, geophysics uh, or hydrogeologists. Uh, so we bring those people in as required uh, on a project by project basis as we advance them. So quite a, a bit of a wealth of experience there in your team there. We have put together, I think, uh, a very good team, which is one of the strengths of the company. What kind of milestone and catalyst that investors should be looking for, for the later in the year for Mary West? We started off just a year ago, so we're a pretty young company, and we went out and we acquired really four good quality projects. We talked about Railroad Valley and we talked about uh, Thompson Creek in Arizona. We also have Edwards Creek Valley uh, where it's similar in potential, we think, to Railroad Valley. It's a little bit earlier stage right now, but it we've essentially staked the entire valley there. Uh, and uh, we also have our Deer Musk East property that's located in Clayton Valley. So three brine uh, targets right now and one sedimentary target. So I think, uh, you know, we're looking at advancing Railroad Valley first. So we've done a geophysics. So we take a, a strategic approach where we do the gravity geophysics uh, uh, to characterize the potential basin. And that's followed by magnetotellurics, uh, which is another type of geophysics that looks at the resistivity of the layers below the ground. And if you have low resistivity, that also means you have high conductivity. So we're looking for brines which have high conductivity, low resistivity. And then uh, we do seismic uh, evaluation. So in Railroad Valley, we were able to purchase seismic data from the oil and gas industry. In other cases, we might have to go and do it ourselves, but we'll characterize the deposit, determine where the best place to drill is from the geophysics. And then at Railroad Valley, we're looking to drill later this year, uh, assuming that we are able to find a drill. That's one of the biggest challenges right now in Nevada because the drilling companies are busy and to drill the depth of holes that we need, which are in the 2,000 to 4,000 foot range, there's only so many companies that have uh, the drilling rigs to do that. So we're trying to get in the schedule to be able to drill there. We're completing the analysis at Railroad Valley to characterize the deposit. That'll be followed by permitting of the drilling program and hopefully drilling here later this year. And then Edwards Creek Valley will be a little bit behind that. Uh, we've started to do, done the gravity work there. We started to do the magnetotellurics and then the playa got wet last December because of precipitation. So we're waiting for it to dry out and then we'll go and finish that work off do seismic work and get it ready to drill. So it'll be probably second in the process. We're starting to do geological mapping and uh, we'll be looking to drill at Thompson Valley and that will probably occur uh, later this year. So potentially three projects that we could be drilling this year, depending on the availability of drills and also on the permitting process to get them ready. Keeping busy. So sure. the last question to you today. So any Livium company that you really look up to uh, is say one day you want your company to become that uh, and why? Uh, you know, it, it, that's a hard one to answer. You know, there's some big uh, lithium companies that are operating uh, primarily in Australia, Chile, China and Argentina. Only Albemarle Corporation is operating in the United States and they operate the Silver Peak mine. Uh, it's the only uh, operating lithium mine so far. So we have a number of uh, what I'll call junior exploration companies that are up and coming ones. So Lithium Americas has the Packer Pass property. American Lithium has the TLC property, Cypress Development and Pure Energy, Noram Lithium. Uh, Spearmint Resources, they're all in Clayton Valley, uh, where we also have a project. So they're all kind of up and coming, but, uh, you know, they're all kind of at the point where they're all trying to break through to become an operator or potentially develop a property, maybe that a major will come in and develop. So, you know, I'm not saying there's any one company we'd like to emulate, but we're following all those companies and we're learning from what they're doing because they're all kind of in the learning stage, the lithium uh, exploration field is relatively new. The technology to process lithium is being developed uh, to try to minimize the impact to the environment, which is very important now. You know, I think we're on the leading edge with these companies to develop uh, in the lithium space. And I think we're going to chart our own way as opposed to following another company.
Great. So thank you again for your time, David, here with us to share your story with us here today. It's a pleasure. Uh, enjoyed talking with you.